Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Lynch Stern PA. We have a very common, we've had multiple videos like this, um, and this is dissecting cellulitis of the scalp. And you can see the pockets that form and it actually separates the skin. You can see areas of drainage, um, scar tissue formation. Uh, and this is something, you know, that goes uh, along with hydronitis superativa we talk about. They're in the same family of chronic inflammatory conditions. When they swell up enough, you can see here, the it'll put pressure on the hair follicle and the hair start falling out, so you'll get bald spots like that. What we're gonna do today is numb him up, just make a small cut there, and we wanna drain this pocket. Once we drain that, it usually flattens out like this one, and he'll start growing hair again, and uh, hopefully with antibiotics and, and regular treatments, we can keep these controlled so he's not getting new ones, and it keeps it kind of dried up for him so it's not as painful. So that's what we'll be, we'll be doing today. I'm gonna get him all prepped and be back in just a second. All right, guys, Mr. Popsy here. We got him ready to go. Nice and numb here. And this is a pretty good sized pocket. We have him numb. He's still at the bottom of this pocket, he may feel some pressure when we're pushing. A little pinch here. Shouldn't feel anything. Are you okay there? Yes. Good. That's good. Right there. We're going to see. At the bottom, it can be kind of tender. There we go. We just hit the pocket right there. Good, and because this one's not real red, he doesn't have a ton, yeah, not a ton of fluid as far as like pus. There's a different pocket you can kind of see here. Not bad, you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. There we go. What we do with these, can you get me um, a blunt, the extractor, a little loop extractor? Okay, Elva, we have one over there. You can see there's a lot of pockets in here. So we're getting some fat tissue. Looks like he's pretty numb. He's not feeling a lot, but you can see some of that kind of tissue protruding through like a little bit of fat tissue here. There can be what's called loculations, which are little pockets in there. So I use something not sharp and it's blunt so it shouldn't hurt. Many uses of a loop extractor here. Again, tell me if you have any pain, okay? You okay, okay. there? Yep. Good. So I'm going each way here. Now if I hit the bottom, yeah, yep, right there, yeah. you felt it. So that's why I don't go deep. Very good. Going back and forth, each part of the pot. A little bit there too. Okay, bit, yeah. that's as deep as we need to go. So now, when we push here, you're gonna see there should be some pretty good pus coming out here. There you go. There it is. A little pocket right there. So that's a pretty good amount. Once I'm getting to the bottom, like we said too. I can't get that whole bottom numb. I don't push quite as hard as we get down here. There is a big ingrown hair. Oh, wow. Yes, and that's common in this. You can see this. This hair is rolled up. I'm gonna use the other side here. That can be what initiates these sometimes. So you can see we probably have a two or three inch hair there. It's like a little pocket of ingrown hairs. So you can see that against the background there. Look at the size of that hair. Two and a half, three inches. So that may have been what initiated this. Um, you know, you get an ingrown hair, it starts the inflammatory process. He's hypersensitive to that inflammatory process because of the condition. It starts breaking down tissue. You start getting that pus formation and then we get a pocket like this. So that's good to get that hair out. That was a pretty good size one too. I'm pressing too much, just let me know, okay? Okay. Oh, I mentioned he found us on YouTube as well. <laughs> That's always great. I've had multiple patients come in because they've seen me do these procedures on other people here. This is where we're getting to the sensitive area. There we go. 
So because I broke up those pockets, now we can start draining all the way across. And that's almost flat, you can see already here. But he's got a couple pockets here. Would you say like a four out of 10 discomfort or is it more than that? Uh, like that's, a four. Okay, yeah, that's that's normal. Oh, we got quite a bit out too. It's the last bit, he's tender right there on this side. There we go. The more I get out, the longer yeah, this will stay for flat it, for you. So if you can handle it, I'm just kind of pushing from different it. angles. Go Even had a small one starting here that's attached. You can see it's drained right into there, and that one's flat too, so that's good. Once we start getting a little bit of red blood like that, that means we're at the bottom. That's how we know. You can see how raised up that was. It is flat now, so we're hoping if it stays flat, he's going to start getting... I think I see another hair right here too, like that. Another curled up, big grouping of hairs in there. Yeah, we'll do a little um, pressure bandage for him. Yeah. Is that good? Good. And what we'll see commonly, and we have seen this on some other videos, kind of a gelatinous mass at the bottom. It's just kind of jelly-like, and that's why, you know, you can see a little bit of that jelly right there. It's just the tissue kind of breaking down a little bit. There we go. Get the last bit of that fluid out for him. Very good. So you can see that indent. That's how far down it went, almost a full centimeter and a half down and almost two centimeters up. So there's quite a deep pocket in there. You can feel where the tissue, it drops off like that. So he's doing great. He was able to tolerate more than most actually, cause we pressed pretty hard there. That's good. Just gonna wipe down here. We're gonna put a pressure bandage on there that keeps it indented like this. So as that heals, um, it, it'll stop or at least slow down fluid coming back in there. Now, is it a 100% chance it's never going to refill? No. Commonly, they do refill, but usually it takes quite a while. If we have them on a good antibiotic, that should keep it like that. But that's it. He's looking great. It already looks like it feels a lot better. This little cut will heal in four days or so. We want it to drain. I don't close it with stitches. You can see that little bit of fat tissue there. That's what it comes in on the bottom there. We want that to drain for those couple days and then it seals together and it should be flat and then he'll start regrowing hair. So glad we were able to, to do that for him today. Thanks again to him for sharing. That was pretty standard uh, incision and drainage of a chronic inflammatory dissecting cellulitis nodule on the scalp. This was a pretty good size one too. They're usually about half that size to a third, but this had been there for a while. It was getting bigger. So he'll feel much better with that gone and hopefully it stays flat. So thanks for popping by and thanks again for sharing. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.